Hey everyone, thanks for watching. So, in this video, obviously, as the title suggests, I mean, there's, there's some controversy going on around our friend uh, James Watson, Dr. James Watson. And basically, in regards to his, his, um, his views on race and biology, and sorry, race and genetics. Um, the thing is with this, with this thing that you can look at this kind of thing in, in many, many different levels. But one of the levels, and I'll talk about two fundamental levels here about this, this thing, because this is, this is part of a bigger thing, a bigger issue. Now, on the, f I'm, I'm going to talk about the race part second, actually, in this one. I want to talk about that second. But one of the, the first thing I want to talk about is how this is bad science. So this is not the first time I've heard this argument or you've heard this argument and this debate is alive and well. I mean, it's obvious. And I'm glad that it's resurfacing because you know what? It's time to get these, this thing off the table. So I'm glad that these things are resurfacing because at least you know, we know what we're dealing with. One of the parts that irks me the most about all of this is how these people make these grand arguments about race and genetics and all of that race and genetics and all of that stuff right but they have absolutely no evidence aside from iq test right and, and one can go all day all week all month about those iq tests and what these things are actually measuring but basically that's that's, this is their smoking gun, supposedly, IQ test, IQ test. So aside from that, where exactly are these race genes they're talking about? Like, where are these genes, no, sorry, where are, the, not these race genes, but these intelligence genes, where are these genes that are, they are talking about that somehow correlate to a smoking gun on whether one is going to be intelligent or not? I, I just want to know because... These are supposed to be the high, high priests and also the gods of, you know, modern science. I don't want to take away from what James uh, Watson has done because his, his co-discovery of the double helix was an amazing discovery. But that being said, it doesn't excuse him or doesn't give him um, a pass in terms of proving things. So that's what I'm saying. So when these things come up, I want to know where exactly are these intelligence genes, let alone where exactly are these race genes. <laughs> that's an, and that's another conversation in itself. So one can look at this argument on that level. It's like where this on that level, just on the argument itself. These there and the, what troubles me the what the what are the what troubles me a lot about this is that also he's not the only guy that has this opinion. So, so many people have these opinions, right? You can feel it. As a black man, you know it. These things are out there. You hear things, you see things in, in your window, you read in between the lines. You can also just observe other people's perceptions, right? You can smell it in the air. So this is not something that's new. It's, it's out there. And you know what? One, one can see why people have these opinions. Because when you operate from such a superficial level, it's inevitable. You connect the wrong dots based on your level of consciousness. Right? So when you base things that you see and things that I definitely use definitely I don't discard these I don't discard these these intelligent these so-called IQ tests and some of the and some of the uh, observations that these people make but the problem is their assessments their judgments are all based on predetermined notions and basically what they want to see based on what's in their own mind and hearts they don't see the other elements that play a huge, 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 huge role in these kinds of things when it comes to so-called so intelligence. Namely, 
culture, environment. Those things are monumental, but they just, they seem to be culturally illiterate about these things. They do not understand the power of culture. And then also they just, they seem to have a certain amnesia about history. I'll just say, I'll just keep this brief. But if you've subjugated a population for, you know, half of, um, half of, half a millennia, basically, what do you think is going to happen going forward after that? That things are just going to correct itself right away and certain things don't have a certain momentum. But that being said, I'll just leave, I'll leave that part. I'll just leave that part because I can just go more and more into that. But it's so disappointing because on the, this level that these people are supposed to be the smartest ones in the room. Yet they can make these crazy, wide sweeping, monumentally ignorant statements without a shred of evidence or very, 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 very thin evidence. See, we wouldn't allow that for most things. We wouldn't allow that for a lot of things, but it's, it seems, it surprises me how so many people will allow that for their own personal prejudices. Now, you have to understand this also affects me on the personal level because, you, you know, as I've noticed, with these people, these, uh, I don't know what they're calling it, race realism or something like that, their favorite, their favorite uh, punching bag, punching bag is black people, right? Their main targets, their, their cause celeb. You know, they look at us and, well, they have their opinions. So for me, when you see these things, it's hard to not take it personally because you are the main target of it. You know, it is, it just really is disappointing in this day and age that you still have to be defending your own humanity. It's strange. That your skin color still, 2019, is still an important, an important factor in the way people will be interacting with you. Now, on the one side, I am glad this debate is coming up because I would prefer these things to come out and just be out there in the open field so we can actually take this on. Because it's, this is something that is in, is in the ether. You can feel it. You can smell it. You can taste it. It's there. It still, it still lurks in the shadows and it has to be brought to the light. I don't believe in, I don't believe in shutting people up or shutting them down or anything. Let them talk. Let them debate the arguments. Prove your point. Let me, let me see what your evidence is. Prove it to us. Show us. And, uh, and at the same time, let us see who you are so we at least know what we're dealing with. So I, I'm, uh, I'm a little mixed when it comes to, you know, silencing people on these things, because I really, honestly, I think these people should just be let, I think these people should have their platform, let them speak. So at least we know what we're dealing with. I mean, this comes on the, this comes on the cross was also of, a, um, what's his name? Uh, send, uh, Congressman King and his white nationalist sentiments coming out and, you know, and, We've been having this debate too with certain philosophers and big minds, you know, like Sam Harris and um, and and his admiration of the um, um, the bell curve, you know, these things. The, these this is not new. And I'm but these things. I think we need to take a look at them because it's not. It's a meme that will not die. Now keep in mind. Uh, Mr. Watson here has also other opinions about other things too that are um, uh, pretty much highly questionable when it comes to uh, when it comes to gender, uh, weight, homosexuality. So you have to, to you have to also consider the messenger here. Just because you've you're you've you're you have this sort of accomplishment in this field and you've done that. 
doesn't mean, doesn't exclude you from the fact that you may have certain parts of you that are just com completely um, erroneous. Can I say? These people are not perfect. You sh we shouldn't even look at these people, these people as perfect human beings. Because if you got to know your average scientist, really, I think it would destroy your illusions about the whole thing. It, it has for me. Not that I'm not going to say we should just throw out science, but you have to understand what it is. A tool. It's hard to, it's hard for me to dis disengage from a certain, from um, these kinds of topics because it does hit home so personally. But it's not just only because of the race thing. It's because it's also how it's such bad, bad science. These are supposed to be people that we hold to a high esteem and who play a, a large and principal, a part and a fundamental role in society. And when you find out that so many of them are under the whims of very, very questionable things, it starts to make you wonder like, what is going on. And then it starts to make you wonder, well, what is in the future for science if it's being co-opted by ideology and money? I don't know. I just wish we would have some sort of be able to have some sort of open debate about this thing. It's kind of disappointing on many sides. It's on both sides of things, too, because you would wish. It, well, basically, it's disappointing that you, you have this you have this argument going on and the people who are being affected by it also don't get to they don't seem to also be able to 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 be able to even defend themselves because when i'm i search around and i look at these things and i'm reading and i'm watching and stuff like that it's other white people commentating on other white people and you just it's hard to be able to 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 be in to 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 engage in this or even feel a sense of um 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 that you're part of the discourse and all of this when all the faces you see are not even the, the those who are being attacked to so to say or questioned i wish there would be my more minorities who would jump in onto this because this race and iq thing is such a ludicrous per, i it's such a ludicrous idea that's still out there today and it needs to be uh, it needs to be brought into the light and 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 confronted by those that are affected by it so this is a calling to all of those people too come on you got to get out there you got to challenge these things you know they're out there so i'll leave it at that for now but please if you have anything constructive to say please post a comment i want to hear what people have to say about this i want to hear the opinions and 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 views on all this because i do find this very very fascinating this whole concept of how people view race and iq it's it's a fascinating thing and i hope this debate is 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 brought to the forefront so please comment interact do it let me know what you think thanks for watching